I believe the real glow up is not about appearance. Real glow up is something that comes from the inside out. This means that it's not only about physical or the outer things, but it's more about the mental, emotional, spiritual, and inner world because your outer world is always the reflection of your inner world. So today I'm going to share my own tips on how to glow up from the inside out. To help you more, I've created the free workbook that gives you a step-by-step -step guidance. Click the link in the description box below to download this free workbook. Alright, let's get started. The first step is to deal with yourself. Dealing with yourself can mean a lot of things here, yet it is based on every individual. What I mean by dealing with yourself is to know yourself. Be aware of which part of yourself that needs healing or improvement and start to work on it. It can be anything like the lack of self-confidence, self-worth, self-esteem, self-love, or the other lack that leads you to insecurity, anxiety, need for validation, jealousy with others, inadequacy, and so on. Why do you think I put this into the first step to glow up? Because I believe to glow up, you need to embrace your limiting beliefs or lacking that comes from your past conditioning or environment that constantly holding you back. Because oftentimes, it's not about learning new things. It's more about unlearning things that don't serve you and your highest Dealing with yourself is something that you have to work on intentionally with daily practice. To be aware of which part of yourself that needs healing or improvement, you need to do self-reflection. So here are some questions that you can ask yourself. What are some negative emotions that I often have, for example like anxious, insecure, inadequate, or jealous? What makes me feel like that? Recognize the pattern. If you often feel insecure, Think about what makes your insecurity arises usually. Where are those negative emotions come from? This is more about the root of the negative emotions, which usually come from the past conditioning or pain. If you often feel inadequate, think about where does it come from? Is it because when I was a child, I didn't get so much love from my family or when I was in high school, my friends bullied me or said that I'm like him. What does my ideal person look like? How do they think, talk, or feel about themselves? And if you want more questions, I've made a free workbook that you can download in the description box below. Step number two is to shift your mindset. After you identified your limiting beliefs and know what is your ideal person looks like, now it's time to break those limiting beliefs and shift your mindset. And in my opinion, mindset is the most important aspect to glow up because everything starts with mindset. There are a couple of ways you can do to shift your mindset, such as reading books. It's exactly true that something you read can influence how you think and how you see things. That's why there's a quote that says you are what you read because when you read you put yourself in other shoes you're consuming other people's perspective and mindset so you get new ideas as well as different point of view i think books are truly powerful because when you read books the author really dives deep into the topic so you can get influenced by the books and here are some books that i recommend However, if you don't like reading yet, I've made a video about how to start reading and I tell more about how reading changed my life. So you can learn more about reading there and hopefully can make you start reading as well. The second is affirmations. Based on the secret book, affirmations are positive personal statements that describe yourself as you would like to be, which means at your very best without limitations. The more often you repeat these positive statements, the sooner you come to form these positive beliefs about yourself. I do think affirmations can work effectively when one is open to new beliefs. And of course, you wouldn't believe it completely at first. I've been there when I did affirmations, yet I felt like I was lying to myself. However, it takes daily practice and repetition for something to be embedded into your subconscious mind. Yes, not only conscious mind, you should reach the level of the subconscious mind to have the new strong beliefs. There are a lot of great affirmations that you can find on the internet as well as different methods to do it. You can write it down, say it out loud, or my favorite methods is to just listen to the audio that I usually play from YouTube. You can do it every morning every night or if you listen to the audio you can listen wherever or whenever you want but the key is to feel the words believe them and know that it's true the other way is meditation 
Meditation is like a brain workout. Meditation is the practice of overcoming yourself, quieting your mind, and being in the present moment. But how does meditation change your mind and even your brain? So as a human, we have different types of brain waves. Gamma, which is super conscious. Beta is the active mind. Alpha is the restful state. Theta is deep relaxation and delta is dreamless sleep. Most of the time in our daily activities, we're in the beta brain waves. It's when we use our brain to think, concentrate, and learn. But when we meditate, when we're relaxed and calm, we change our brain waves into alpha or even theta when the meditation is really deep and that is the place or state of your subconscious mind, which is the root of your program belief, habit, and mindset. That's why when you meditate, you can change your mindset, even your brain structure, because you're going extremely deep into the root of your programming and habits. I've given you some recommendations for a guided meditation that I usually use on today's workbook, so feel free to download it. The third step is daily habits. I believe having a true glow up comes not from one big decision at one time, but from daily small habits. It is when you stay dedicated to the improvement of yourself. It is when you show up for yourself every single day, even when you don't feel like you. It is also when you're being humble enough, knowing that there are still a bunch of things that you need to learn more day by day, knowing that the development of yourself is a never-ending journey, and there is always another aspect of you that needs improvement. We can know a person pretty much from their daily habits because things that you repeatedly do day by day are going to build a personality as well as future destiny. It's obvious then to glow up, we need to break our bad habits and change them into the good ones. I'll give you some steps to break the bad habits. The first is to identify the bad habits. So you have to be aware and be clear of what habits you want to unlearn and delete from your life. The second is substitute. Decide what is the new habit you want to develop because you need a new habit to break the old habit. Imagine your ideal self then ask yourself, what is the habit do my ideal self have in their life? Perhaps they have the habit of, I don't know, giving a smile to every person they meet, reading books, eating healthy foods, and so on. The third is to make the new habit more interesting and easier, such as tracking the habit or giving yourself a small reward after you've done the good habit. If you want to learn more about breaking the bad habits and developing the good one, check out this video to give you a clearer context and step-by-step -step learning. Alright, if you found this video helpful, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and while you're waiting for the next week's video, check out this playlist that I have for you. Thanks so much for watching, subscribe if you are ready, and see you!